graveyard shift. Let's go! So far, man. Whispering winds, graveyard. What's up, dog? What's going on, man? I'm glad to see you. And I'm sure we've hired a great guardian. Yeah. Your, your mouth isn't moving. Are you a ventriloquist? I know that during the first few nights, you might not feel comfortable in this place and may be a bit scared, but you'll get used to it soon. Thank you, sir. This cemetery is the most peaceful place at night, and you'll find enjoyment in the tranquility and silence of this place. I will enjoy myself. Of course. You need to be very vigilant and make sure no one enters. You should know that many famous people are buried here. Cool. Go to Johnny's to get all the details from him. Okay, a uh, tab. Nice map. Go to the security room and talk to Johnny. Um, let's see, security room, and, uh, we are at the front gate, so I'm assuming we go left from the inside, maybe, or left right here. Those cars, man. Almost remember seeing, is that a Buick? It is a Buick, what the hell? It's an actual car. Dude. We used to live next to a cemetery, and uh, it was extremely peaceful. Bro, this dude is jacked. What do you guys say, man? You must be the new night shift guard. You should know that guarding this cemetery isn't easy. I'm, what could be so hard about it? The cemetery is equipped with CCTV cameras due to the burial of many famous individuals. You must regularly check the cameras and never let anyone in. All right. Tonight, the cemetery has three guests. Due to the time constraints and a lack of proper and secure mortuary around the city, they had to store the bodies of the ghost rock group here tonight. Tomorrow, the funeral for these will be held, and you must be very attentive at the cemetery. Okay. There's something very important that the priest told me not to tell you, but I'll share it with you. The previous night shift guard died of a heart attack, and we found his body at the church door with a bluish complexion and a terrified look on his face. Thank you for sharing that information. I don't want to scare you, but I thought it's better that you know and stay more alert. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please contact me. Remember to regularly check the cameras. Yeah, I kind of figured that. All right, and they're gone, man. <coughs> We're here all alone. That's fantastic. Bro, so far, I'm impressed. Very impressed. Okay, so we've got to guard the Whispering Winds Graveyard, 1907. A lot of famous people buried here. I wonder if you can read the headstones. Yeah. No. You know what's funny? This looks like today. Outside, this is what the weather looks like right now. 
Let's go in our security room. Tall man is still in the grave. I have to ask him to go. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Ask the guy to get out of the cemetery because the opening hours, hours are over. And here we go, man. This is where it starts. There's a tall man in the cemetery. Why he's in the cemetery, I don't know. I didn't really point out on the map where he was. I didn't see him. There he is. Oh, my. All right, man. I got to get adjusted. My nips are itching. Let's kick this dude out of here. Sir? Sir? Hey! Sir! <laughs> Sir! Hey! What do I do? Uh, excuse me, sir. I must ask you to leave this place. This cemetery is closed from 5 p.m. onwards, and I have to lock the gate. Objective update tab to check. Close the gate cemetery. All right, all right, all right. Oh, he's walking funny. Look at him. All right, man. He's closed out. He seemed nervous. Did he get upset by my words? Okay, we locked the gates. Let's hit tab. Enter the security room and check the CCTV. All right, man. Here we go. Let's get to the security room. See what the BNC is up in here. All right, so we, uh, we made it back. Let's check the cameras, man. Um, everything looks normal to me. That looks good. Okay. I don't know where this is, but whatever. It's the front of the church. Is that a church or is that like a crypt? If that was a church, dog, I'm not going to church here. Here, yeah, Here's inside the church. It's an abandoned church. Okay, so it's an old, what the hell? There's water leaking. There's the front. There's the gate. That's not cool. Uh, the morgue. This game, bro, is gonna suck so bad, dude. Uh, we've got a we got a water leak somewhere. Examine the water pipe. I, I why there's an above ground water pipe? I mean, it's old plumbing, man. It's old cemetery. Whoa, that sounds so real. All right, so at least now we know where that camera. Now we know where that camera's pointing. I have to close the water tank. Okay. Let's do that. Let's follow the pipe. Got to follow the pipe. Here we are. What does that say? Have you ever heard the cries of a demon? Um, yeah, actually I have. Um, let's check the, okay, we got to check the CCTV again. That ain't good. I hope, ah! That shit's already happening, man. That was terrible. Um... Okay, let's check the... T <laughs> All right, we made it back. Checking the cameras again. We gotta make sure it pans. Okay. I really don't... I know we're gonna have to end up going in this church at some point in time. I really don't want to. really don't want to man this camera seems clear front gate is good Jesus looks alright 
There's a body on the floor. That does not look good. Please tell me we don't have to go pick up that body, man. Please, no. A change has occurred. And then to section hall. Check it out. Come on, dude. We gotta go outside. Oh, no. No. Okay. Let's go to the hall. There was a body on the floor. Oh, my. Hmm. <gasps> hmm. Ah! Ah! Hi. You're beautiful. Give me a kiss. Well, better pick this dude up. Put him back up here. There we go. Awesome. Okay, man. Go back to your room. We'll do. We'll do. That's fantastic. I'm just going to keep on moving. Please protect me, man. I got a feeling that when we check that camera at some point, that cross is going to, like, flip. I guarantee it. Close the door. What is that? That's a skull head. Oh, God. A skull that is not weather? It is real or fake? I'm, okay. Who cares? How did it get there? Let's talk about it. Oh, great. Phone's ringing. Oh. Where is it at? The door just closed. Why is there blood on that? Hello? Yeah, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. We'll get that done. Let's check the cameras. Um, that looks clear. 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 So far, so good. Front, good. Oh, come on, dude. Why? A guy standing in front. No, duh. I don't need to go tell him to go. He will understand. Okay. Well, we're locked in, so no getting out of here. Do we have like a uh, PA system? I can just like, get the hell out of here. I do not. And now there is a note. I see a very frightening nun on the east side of the cemetery standing over a grave, but I don't dare to approach her. Her crying is intensely eerie and disturbing, and it's unbearable. I have recently found a solution that can make her voice somewhat more tolerable for you. Just whisper Jesus Christ 20 times. We don't know who this nun is, but I'm certain that she is not human. Yikes. That is terrible. Is this where we sleep? We can lock the door. Unfortunately, we can't open it. Oh, there we go. Need to take a nap. That's fantastic. There's a dude here and we're taking a nap. Good job on a dirty ass bed. Well, good night. This is incredibly creepy. It's like the whole world's dead and we're at the biggest graveyard on the planet. How insane. This is like end times, man. And we're gonna have to walk into the light. I'm gonna try to get, it won't let us get like direct. Oh, I see something. Something over here. This looks like a street light. Definitely a street light. Or just a light in general. Ooh, I hear whispering. Oh, this is my grave. 
Well, uh, let's go. Whoa. Definitely wasn't a street light. It was my grave light. That was creepy. So far, man, this is the creepiest game I've seen in a long time. Why is the pot spilled over? Well, we didn't get a chance to have the chili because there it is on the floor. It's probably a good thing we didn't eat it. What is all that? Well, it's nighttime now. I'm seeing like, these are uh, night vision cameras, but I don't know what I'm seeing back there. Maybe like light pollution from the city or something. I don't know. I hear a car going off. Oh man, dude, this is so bad. Well, it's our car. It's the Buick. The dude's gone. How was he going to get out if it was locked up? Oh god. We don't I don't think we have a flashlight. Pick up the flashlight and find a way to disable the car alarm so there's a flashlight somewhere. There it is. Really, dude? Come on, man. Oh, god. Oh, come on, man. This is like everybody's worst nightmare. Yep, it is. It is light pollution. There's a city. We're in the middle of a city. Makes it, it makes it even cooler, though. Stupid Buick. I need a tool in the warehouse. Okay. What is that? Flowers sticking out. Let's go to the warehouse. Bro, this is insane. This game is nuts. Okay, where's that tool at? Oh! <laughs> Uh, crowbar? No. We got a jib. That should do the trick. I have to disconnect the car, the car's uh, alarm wire, otherwise the car battery may run out. All right. Go back to the security room. Let's hope we don't run into anything. Oh, man. Just going to ignore what I heard. Oh, come on. No. Fuse is blown. Find the fuse. How are we going to find the damn fuse, man? The ambience. The lighting. This is, this is insane. Um, oh, it's right there. I see it. So now we're at the warehouse. We need to go back in the gate. Yeah, it says fuse right there. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, I must have overlooked that. I'm, I got tunnel vision right now. I'm scared. I make a lot of mistakes, man, when I got tunnel vision. It's over here by the water pipe. Close to it anyway. Tell you what, let's let's just shoot straight up here. I think I see it. There's something glowing blue. Yep, there it is. What in the hell is this? Oh. Okay, now let's check the cameras. Oh god, I hate this. Yep, just a junkie somewhere. Nothing nothing new. We're in the city, you know. It happens. Let's hope they get the help they need. All right, just going to, you know, close the door. All right. Back in action. So far, so good. 
I got a feeling that at some point in this game, we're going to be checking these cameras. And something is going to jump out in our face. <clears throat> what could possibly go wrong? I just heard something. What am I hearing? Hang on. Let's let it pan left. I'm hearing a very weird electrical sound. What is that sound? Oh no, no, no! Two of the bodies are missing! Oh my god! Okay, two of the bodies are missing. Okay, well... Examine the change made in the dissectional hall. Come on, man! Why? How could the bodies have raised? Yeah, no shit. No shit! <sighs> Somebody's dog got loose. Don't. The picture's gone. Oh, no. Please don't do this to me. Please don't. Find a way out. Come on, man. Just quit. Oh, no. We What? We will not be buried here. Key should be around here. All right. Should be a key around here. Oh, God. Looking for a key. Ah. Oh. Here it is. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Let's vomit on the sweater already, mom. Spaghetti. Okay, we can't get through there. Oh, please. Oh, no, it's the cremation room. Cremation room. Check this door. Staff only. Can't get out that way. wonder what that key was for. It could have been for one of those, uh... One of those boxes... Just got an axe. Break the glass, please. Don't be stupid. What is that? Bro. Bro. Please use the axe. Quit being stupid. We've got a key and an axe, man. How hard could this be? Can't get through that door. Yes, maybe this. <laughs> All right, uh, that worked. There we go. Yeah, boy. I'll just, you know, get out this way. What just happened? All right, uh, flashlight. Thank you, sir. Well, we climbed out the window. Uh, keep Johnny informed by phone. Uh, yeah. I quit. Get me the hell out of here. That's what I don't understand about these games, bro. I would have been out that front gate already. Gone, man. Dunzo. I wouldn't even told him I was quitting. I would have just left. I don't care about something happening in the morning. Fire me. I'll go work at Walmart. Man, dude, please. Please. Why? So I should I go inside or should I close the door? All right. Um, I didn't even have to do it. It did it itself. And he's gone. Awesome. Maybe he was checking the cameras. I'm closing that. I do not trust that at all. Uh, we got a call, man. 
That's loud. Hello? Hello, Mr. Johnny. There's a problem. What's going on there? I just realized that the bodies are not in their place. What should I do? Mr. Johnny? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, Jesus. Welp. So much for Johnny. Alright, uh... Now let's check the cameras. Let's just hope that there's nothing going on. Was that sparks falling? What the fuck is... That's just dust. That's just rain. What? What? What is this? Why? What? What is he doing? No signal. I'm not going back in there. I'm sorry. That's not happening. Apparently someone was digging a grave in the cemetery. Check it out. All right. <clears throat> well, let's go shoo him off. I do believe that was like right here, maybe. Well, I thought it was right here. Where is that other camera? Thought that I thought that camera looked overlooked right here, but I guess not. Yeah, I don't know where that camera was overlooking, man, so we'll just walk around. We'll know here in a second. Just, everything in my vision just went blurry for a second. That Whoa. He dug a grave. Okay. So that camera is right there. Gotcha. And that is by the fuse. Oh, oh. Oh, he dug up a grave. Okay, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Let's uh, yeah, escape the graveyard through the gate. Um, sure. There's something wrong with this graveyard. I have to leave the cemetery as soon as possible so that I don't die, so that I don't die myself. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for using your thinker for once. Smart guy. I was supposed to be a cemetery guard or a damn ghost club. Will not stay here for even a moment. Thank you, thank you. And it's locked up. We have a key though, right? Do we have the key? Shit, the lock has been changed. Cl climb over! We got a crowbar, we just beat it. Oh no. Great. Great, great, great. Go back to the security room. Yeah, you think? Whatever's here is not going to let us leave, man. I'll tell you what I'd do, man. I don't care about anything that would, like, possibly happen in this graveyard after this. I would lock myself in the security room, board up the, the windows, and go to sleep. That's exactly what I would do, man. Please tell me I'm not locked out. Thank God. And I would take that down and I'd hold it. Yeah, I'd board all this up. Well, that's actually pretty secure. Yeah, so, see all that? No. I'd be like, cool, man. So what? I don't know what it means by torch doesn't need new torch oil yet that that I'd be done that's it that's all I need to see be nashed no signal on that one all right don't tell me don't update my shit I'm going to sleep oh my god there's someone in the church no no why yippee Yippee. Let's do that. Let's not stay in the security room where it's safe, you know. Let's go check out a, a dead ghost chick in the church. That's so smart. There we go. Got the keys to everything. Hey, where are you? You need to get out of here. What the... Is this it? 
All right. Everything looks clear. Is that what is that? I think she was standing right here. There's nobody here. Oh, oh, a note. Pick it up. Uh, uh, uh. We, the buried ones in the cemetery, have a message for you. For years, a demon has been buried here, tormenting our souls. Now, you are the con you are condemned to destroy the demon within the cemetery and save us from torment. Otherwise, a harsh death awaits you. Wow. Okay. I'll, let's do it. Let's. I, I was very hesitant. Turn around. Yep, yep, yep. What now? What now? What now? What now? What now? Okay. All right. Oh, no. What is that? Are those... What the hell? Something was behind me. That is a nasty-ass footprint. Somebody's got some damn Amazonian feet. What the fuck is this? What even is that? It says we have to follow the footprints. Follow the footprint. Oh, they continue on. All right, following the footprints. Where does this lead? Come on. Oh, what is, what is this? Where are we? I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a tomb? Need a tool to break the lock. Okay. Uh, crowbar. Crowbar, crowbar. Maybe. Do I got a... Please jump. Dude, come on, man. Jump over that. <sighs> Something's gonna get me. Backing up. Okay, we're good. Got it. Remembered the crowbar. Wish more games like this would come out. That was a joke. Really? Break the damn thing. What is this? This is a crypt, dude. They led me here. There must be something important here. Yep. This is probably where the demon's buried. So, I mean, even if you know where the demon is, what the hell are you supposed to do, man? I'm not a preacher, am I? Oh, I hate this. Oh, God. Oh no, dude. I'm getting so itchy everywhere. All right, man. I do not want to move on. We don't have a choice. Yep, that's exactly what this is, man. This is a tomb. Smith. 1932. Why is that making that sound? Wow. Dude. Like, who would visit you down here? Like, look how huge this is. Your family would not visit you down here. Taylor, 1940. Holy crap, man. This is wicked. Yep, I knew it. Look at that. Let me... Would you guys visit your family members if it was in a crypt like this? It's like, well, I'm going to go visit Granny. Where's that? An underground crypt? Now, if it's at a cemetery, it's outside. You know, you go when it's a sunny day and everything's nice. It doesn't matter what the weather's looking like. You come down here and this motherfucker, it's always like this. Now, I've seen the really small crypts that are like little bitty buildings and shit. That's fine. All right. Uh, let's get this over with. That was the demon, by the way. Jones. Mike Jones. Let's keep going. And. Just, you know, waiting for it. I see something looking at me from a distance. Roberts. Let's go through. I mean, and there's no lights down here. Why would you visit? Why? Let's go through the prison gate to just stand in a dark room. And no. Sir? You're going to need to leave. I, I saw you. There's Johnson's. 
Oh, man. There's one light. Can't go through there. Can't crouch. Johnson's. Boy. They needed extra room. Was there something in there? There's something in there. Looks like a shadow. What the hell is that? Well, we can't go in there. Let's keep moving. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, my God. Stop. What is that? Why? Williams are the Brighton family. Fam family's youngest child. William and Farmington's youngest child between books and rotten corpse. Between books and rotten corpse. That's just fantastic. Oh, God. Oh, Williams. <sighs> Between books and rotten corpse. Fantastic. Fantastic. <gasps> oh, there's a shadow. Let's go chase it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We're in here with a demon. Oh! Oh! That just happened. Must have not clicked on that thoroughly enough. His head's missing. Okay. Um. Is there anything in there maybe we missed? Because every time we click on it, watch. It'll just act like it's opening it again. See? Yeah. Maybe let's check that. Yep. Here we go. Whoa. Key added to inventory and we got a note. A uh, handwritten paper. During his 60 years of life, spent his entire life trying to meet the devil until one day it was possessed... He was possessed by the devil and began to torment and slaughter people. After a while, he was killed by the cops, and his body eventually laid to rest in a protected tomb underground, encircled by crosses and sacred verses. Ellis was a very wise and kind-hearted man, but the devil took his body and soul from him. So why did he want to meet the devil if he was a kind-hearted man? Like, that didn't make a lot of sense. Okay, maybe that first tomb was just like nothing. Maybe it was just like a... To show you that you could open the tombs? I don't know. And there's no like... Oh, that did work. Oh my god. So this is his body. The candles are lit as if someone was here today. Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. Where's that light coming from? It's just a light. Whoa. Somebody's trying to release his body. What is that? Nothing. Alright, well, um... What do we do now? Oh no. Why why would we want to mess with this? Like what 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 is the point of us being in here? We're trying to release the damn devil. There's a big axe right here. Oh no, please, man. Why? Why? Don't tell me we're going to use this axe to oh. Why are we doing this? Here we go. Yep, there you go. You just release the devil. Let all this dust clear out. Oh my. It's that dude. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Ellis, although the devil has possessed your body and soul in this transient world, from today you will peacefully rest in eternal sleep because the merciful Lord keeps you away from the devil. Ellis, may the Lord forgive your sins and place your soul in peace. Oh my, okay. All right, yeah, he's on fire. 
I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Let's check. Exit. Okay. There, we did it. Burned his body, and that's probably not a good thing. We just probably released the demon from the body by doing that. Probably not a good idea. Let's get the hell out of here. Yup, that's exactly what we did. Don't remember this. Ah! Okay. Get me out of here. Go. Go. I don't, this was definitely not a way out. I don't know where we're going. We're in an alternate dimension now. Yeah, go back to the security room. Okay, we'll do. Let's do that. What is that sound? What am I hearing, dude? I don't care. We're. Yeah, you hear cry. Come on, man. Just go back to the security room. Ah, this guy, I swear. And now we're dead. That's the devil. Now what? Yeah, now we go back to the security room. Cool. I think we just, like, got possessed. I think that's exactly what just happened. Because Mr. Guy here heard some crying. We better go check it out. We're in a cemetery where demons are running loose, and we hear a girl crying. Let's go check it out, man. Yeah, great idea. Home sweet home. Now what? We're in the security room. Go to sleep, man. And he's digging again. <sighs> She's there again. And he's there again. Car's going off. And that guy's there. And what the hell is that? I told you, man. I told you. It flipped. Wow. See you in hell. Yep, we done, we've done fucked up royally. Royally. Oh, God. Devil does not burn. Yeah, I, I know that. And that happened, too. Yep, I, I knew it. I knew it all. We're, we're in the security room, dude. Whoops. I didn't do that. Leave the area. Are you? I just I can't, man. I can't. I can't do it. Leave the area, but the door is closed. There you go. Go out the window. This cemetery is now condemned. Drop a Moab on it. Where am I? I died. And now we get to hear the cries of all the tormented souls. Really, dude? Look at that. And there's that dude right there. This is the most twisted game, bro, I've ever played. Oh, I see. So, this is like a, a different dimension, and up there is where the family members are looking down on the grave. Oh, this is trippy, man. Man, nobody liked this, dude. Somebody's freaking out. All right, so what are we looking for? 
This is like something you imagine as a kid, like in a nightmare or something. And this is the last one, so this has got to be something. Yep, it is. This is... Oh, man, dude. Come on. And we go even deeper. We're going to end up in some, like, Roman tomb or something, man. And we're in some weird dimension. I don't know where. We don't have a flashlight. Got to walk backwards. Man, I don't know where I'm at. This is hell, maybe. Oh, there's something right here. What is that? Oh, a lever. Walked right past that. Yeah. Oh, my dude. What are these? Like all the tormented souls? I don't know. I don't know. dark. It's very dark. I cannot see. Oh no, dude. How weird. Okay. Uh, found a tape. Let's watch the tape, I guess. Use the tape. Ready. Hello, dear viewers. Jay's true story is about a man who was hired as a security guard at the Whispering Winds graveyard. However, on the first night, he realizes that the spirits in this cemetery are asking him to destroy the body of a demon-possessed man buried there as it torments them. The naive and unsuspecting guard believes them and burns the body of the demon-possessed man. But he didn't know that the spirits are not visible and everything he saw was of demonic nature. Now the demon has awakened again and the spirits of whispering winds are in torment. Death was the only punishment for this security guard. No. Gotta remember to rewind those tapes, man. The whispering winds of shit. What is this? Don't look what? Don't look up. Don't look it up. What? Don't look it up. Oh my god! That's what it meant. Okay. Thank you for that. We're live. It's the next day. No way. The gates are open. The bodies are back. Everything's Gucci. The bodies are in their place. There's no sign of last night's nightmare. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, and it's daytime. Okay. Check that. Meet with the priest at the exit of the cemetery. I think the priest had something to do with it. That ain't no damn priest, man. I think he was in on it for sure. A hundred percent. Oh, God. I know this is, this is not going to be good. I'm going to punch him right in his damn jaw. You son of a bitch. How was the first night of guarding at Whispering Wind Cemetery? It sucked. I think you'd agree that being the guard in this place revitalizes the spirit. No, it doesn't. <sighs> Leave the yeah. See you later, dog. I'd have just like stand right here and blindside you right in the ear. Watch you hit that fence. Get me in my car. Get my Hellcat. Do a damn donut. Whew. 
What makes a woman love? I'm driving in the middle of the road. I don't care. Hang her weary head and cry. What makes a woman hang her weary head and cry? Turn the damn radio off, man. Turn it off. When she starts to tell her only loving man goodbye. I don't like it. I don't care, though. I'm getting out of here. A woman is a woman. What is that? All over the USA. Hey, hey, hey. What is a that? Woman Come on. Is a woman. All over the, the demon is attached to us. It's using us. I knew it. Yeah, buddy. Hey, preacher! Preacher man, help me! The what? Oh, yeah! Okay. So we've died twice now. Wow. Whoa. That had, dude, that's one of the best scary games. Dude, I've played so many damn good scary games. They just keep coming, man. And I always say the same damn thing every time. That's the best scary game I've ever played. Why do they keep getting better? I don't know, man. That was up there. That was a great one. I'm not going to say it was the best one, but it was good. It was good. Very good. Yeah, the credit works great. Music was great. I saw a couple mistakes, but man, dude, the ambience, the uh, the atmosphere, the story, man, dude, the 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 setting, nice, nice.